thank you, my good friend, dear friends from all over the world. And as you said, we have a real full house today. Mr. Geraldo Ruiz Esparza, Secretary of Communications and Transport of Mexico. Mr. Mr. Jose Antonio Meade Curibrena, Minister of Foreign Affairs, Mexico. Mr. Gabriel Contreras Saldivar, President, Federal Institute of Telecommunications of Mexico. This is uh, the newest member of our family. I would like to give you a very warm welcome and thanks for the very strong collaboration with our team. I would like to really especially mention that. Dr. Eduardo Rojo Garza Alpare, President, National Institute of Statistics and Geography in Mexico. My good friend Ignacio Peralta. Your Excellency Macan Prophet Tanzania, Your Excellency Professor Macan, Minister of Telecommunication of Tanzania, my good friend Dr. Sam Pitroda, Advisor to the Prime Minister of India, Brahima Sanu, Director of BDT. Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It's again a real pleasure for me to be here in Mexico in this opening of the 11th World Telecommunication and ICT Indicators Symposium. I want to thank His Excellency Geraldo Ruiz Esparza, Secretary of Communication and Transport, Mexico, for inviting us to this great country which is well known for its hospitality. Last year, at the same time, I was here for another symposium, and uh, we had another full house. And of course, we all remember our plenipotentiary conference in, in uh, Guadalajara in 2010, which has uh, re-elected me as Secretary General. I'm very grateful for that. and. Uh, my good friend Brahim Asanu was elected director of BDT, and we very much appreciate the hospitality. We think there is a inspiration, there is a good luck that brings uh, that we can get here in Mexico, and therefore it's always a pleasure to come back here. Excellencies, <clears throat> as we meet today, we should be celebrating the incredible progress that government and industry have made over the past decade or so. In 2003, when the WISIS process began, where we were with just 1.4 billion mobile cellular subscriptions worldwide, and there were only 780 million people using the internet. Today, there are now almost as many cellular mobile subscription as there are people on the planet. 6.8 people, 6.8 billion people have mobile subscription. And there are some 2.75 billion individuals using the internet. Through, the, there, is, there are still, this leaves us still with two thirds of the world population still excluded from the extraordinary benefits brought by the online world. But looking at the trends, I'm personally confident that over the next decade or so, we will see every household, village, school, and hospital fully connected to the internet, and that the internet will be affordable. This resonates with the targets that uh, we have set in the Broadband Commission for Digital Development, namely target one, making broadband policy universal, target two, making broadband affordable, Target three, connecting homes to broadband. Target four, getting people online. This is not just a pipe dream, but a reality we need to achieve. Some of you might have already received 
and read the manifesto that the Broadband Commission released last, last week, signed by 48 members of the Commission. Last month, I should say, in September in, in New York. Oh, we're already in December now. Just a month ago, on 20th of September, we released the manifesto. <coughs> and we presented this to <coughs> UN Secretary General, Mr. Ban Ki-moon, along with um, mm. the President of the General Assembly in New York. <coughs> we are very pleased that some members of the Broadband Commission are here, namely uh, Dr. Sam Petroda, who is one of our very prominent members of the Commission, and we are very proud of his participation here today at this conference. Sam, we, you came a long way. We all know the very strong contribution you're making in this industry, and your presence here gives us a real, real boost. Uh, the manifesto explicitly states that broadband infrastructure applications and services have become critical to driving growth, delivering social services, improving environmental management, and transforming people's lives. The vital role of broadband needs to be acknowledged at the core of any of the post-2015 sustainable development framework to ensure that all countries, developed and developing alike, are empowered to participate in the digital global digital economy. I think all of us here gathered in Mexico this week recognize the importance of measuring the information society. Without measuring, we cannot, we cannot track progress or identify gaps which requires more attention and we cannot identify new goals. In underscoring the importance of the work undertaken by the WTIS, let me borrow the wise words of James Harrison, James Harrington, who said, measurement is the first step that leads to control and eventually to improvement. If you can't measure something, you can't understand it. If you can't understand it, you can't control it. If you can't control it, you can't improve it. I want to say that we can measure ICTs, we understand the technology, and we can control it. So we can improve it, and that is why we are here today. Distinguished colleagues, I'm gratified to see that this symposium has grown big and successful. For the first time, it has brought together ministers, CEOs, directors general of both telecommunications and national statistics entities, and high-level regulatory authorities, as well as high-level United Nations officials. This is a great milestone. ITU relies on the cooperation of member states, industry, and experts in ICT measurement to ensure the production of comparable, adequate, and reliable ICT statistics. Our data, ITU statistics for 200 economies and over 100 indicators comes together as a result of strong commitment from our member state administrations. I say this guided by the lessons we have learned since 1889 when ITU started to collect and process telecommunication statistics. I would like to congratulate Mr. Brahim Asanu, Director of BDT, uh, our development sector and his team who have uh, worked hard to transform what used to be a small technical meeting into such a great annual symposium. I want to assure him that of my support as he continues to innovate for development. As you may know, he also recently launched three initiatives that have a far-reaching impact to the post-2015 sustainable development agenda. Uh, and one of those uh, is again chaired by San Petroda, the M, M Health Empowering uh, Initiative, which comes at the right time for ITU, doing just the right thing with our members and taking the leadership role. And this is really have to be commended. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, this brings me to a very important issue. The revolutionary potential for ICTs was not properly foreseen in the Millennium Development Goals. 
as we must not and, and we must not let the opportunity slip away this time around as we are thinking of the post-2015 development agenda and sustainable development. I, ICTs must be given much greater prominence in the UN's post-2015 development agenda as catalysts for broad social and economic development. And that will mean setting new goals and new targets and measuring these with new indicators. I have personally been addressing this within the United Nations family. Just last September, I was in New York in, and strongly advocating the need to use ICT as a, a sustainable development goal. It's a tool for all the other sectors to move forward, but it's, a, it's, a, it's a, an industry in itself that therefore it has a dual role that needs to be uh, very much highlighted. So let me ask this community to, achieve, to actively engage with, uh, with this issue here in Mexico and to send a strong message to the world and to those who are directly involved in setting the post-2015 development agenda. It is essential that everyone recognizes that ICTs will continue to play an even greater role in the post-2015 agenda than they have over the past 15 years. And we need to ensure that they are specifically included referenced and measured as we move forward. The WTIS this year is particularly important, coming as it does as we are preparing for the final reviews of the MDGs, the Millennium Development Goals, and the World Summit on Information Society, which is plus 10, and as we look at the development process for post-2015. It's good for the developing countries in setting the targets for post-2015 Millennium Development Goals, and it's good for the developed countries for setting the sustainable development. It's good for all of us for the environmental sustainability. We are here at a tipping point, ladies and gentlemen, in our global society, a tipping point where the pace of technological innovations has the potential to change the world for good and for the better. Our discussions here at the WTIS are an important part of that change, and I'm very grateful to the government of Mexico and the Federal Institute of Telecommunication for accepting to share the Mexican experience, and they will tomorrow take us on a tour to showcase some of their successful ICT projects. The institute is newly formed, and uh, I personally follow the very thorough process that the government went, went through in selecting the seven people, top people, in this in the very transparent process that has been set there and putting for the first time a real non-political no uh, uh, but national nationalistic with different uh, uh, backgrounds that are complementary as a commission and i can only see success coming in this and you can be assured of my full support and the full support of itu in accompanying you not assisting we're not assisting anyone. We are accompanying you in what you want to do best. We are bringing the additional flavor of international experience, of the good and bad experiences that are happening everywhere. We are, after all, in the information society. No one should make a mistake that was made elsewhere for lack of information in this information society. And no one should reinvent something that was invented already for lack of information. We are here to cross-fertilize, to exchange best practices, lessons learned, good and bad, so that we move fast. So we all win. That's the beauty of our industry. We are all winners in it. Ladies and gentlemen, let me again uh, for, uh, 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 express my gratitude to the government of Mexico for inviting us here. I look forward to interacting, exchanging views, and debating with, ma with many experts in the room for the next two days. I thank you very much.